Hey guys, today I wanted to walk you through how I created this specific vinyl art. This was a custom order inspired by Mac Miller and his album Circles, so keep watching to see how I created this. Alrighty guys, so when I start any vinyl art, I like to clean the surface um, from with any dust or anything that might be lingering. So I give it a little wipe and then I start on the background image. Um, so usually it's a solid color or some kind of scenery. For this piece, I decided to do a pink and purple um, cloudy sky. And then the second half, I'm gonna do a water kind of seascape. So yeah, this piece is inspired specifically um, by the album Circles by Matt Miller, and this was his sixth studio album. It was it was released in January of 2020 of this year, um, and it was actually following his death in September of 2018. So this was a really emotional album, especially when I first listened to it. Um, it's really crazy to see what he worked on right before his death. So I was excited to work on this piece, but I did go through a little emotional period of just being like really sad and it actually felt better to create this piece like in his honor and to share it with the customer that bought it, but also just with the world. So yeah, I guess what I'm saying is that I did really enjoy working on this piece um, and I felt like it was a very helpful process of kind of grieving his death in a way. So the thing with painting on vinyl is you do have to do it in layers. So I'll, I do use a good amount of paint on each of my pieces and I do drying sessions in between so that I know the paint has made a thick enough mark to be a very solid color. So because this piece wasn't the specific Mac Miller vinyl, I took the center label and got a little creative with it and I designed this online and it's a list of all the songs from the album Circles. In college, I decided to minor in graphic design, which was completely not in my plan at the beginning, but I'm really glad I ended up doing it. Every image you see on my vinyl art was specifically designed and crafted online with design software that I learned how to use. And it's funny because for a while I didn't really see the craft in designing online or graphically but there really is so much creativity thought and hard work that goes behind it it's become a huge part of my art so yeah any images you see here I designed them online it's probably the more tedious part of the whole process but it's perfect to be able to print them out and showcase them kind of in a collage mixed media like way. And then I glue all these images on with Mod Podge and I try and crease them and have them fit really nicely into the image. Um, sometimes they do wrinkle and dry up so you do have to go through the process of drying them and um, pasting over them so that there's no creases or lines and then when I add specific images I really try to spend the extra time to make them feel like they fit in the overall space so like with this compass here I wanted to add some shadows highlighting and contrasting within the water to kind of show it in a way that it's floating so I try and spend some extra time doing that Um, and I didn't mention this before, but if this were designed on the specific Mac Miller album, I would keep the center label as it is. And here you'll see me writing out some of the lyrics that the customer requested for this specific 
piece and those lyrics are from the song Complicated by Mac Miller. So I wrote them out on this lined paper and cut them into these cloud-like shapes so that they would fit really nicely with the sky. So to finish off, I always add another layer of Mod Podge on top of everything and I do it in a way that kind of creates a circular motion so that all the lines are kind of going in this direction and it creates more of a complete feel. There's no streakage or anything so that usually ends up looking really nice to finish things off and then I will add any glitter to the piece that I feel where it would look good. And that is a complete piece. So I'm going to finish this off with a acrylic, acrylic paint coating spray. And then that will again add another coating to make everything look really nice and even and complete. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you'd like me to do some more videos like this. I had really fun filming it. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!